How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at using the Votifier plugin. I said play using Votifier to implement into your plugin so that way you can have custom voting rewards for your server so you can spawn your own custom items and what have you. So remember, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub, so make sure to go check that out. And lastly, make sure not to skip around this video where you guys could miss a line of code, which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin. So the first things first is you guys want to head over to uh, Dev Bucket here and go ahead and download Votifier. And then if you guys would like, you can head down here uh, to where it says, how can I... Er, excuse me, how do I write a vote, vote listener? This is basically all the code you are honestly going to need. So if you'd like, you can go ahead and copy this right here, but I would say don't do that. Um, pretty much works exactly the same as a regular uh, bucket event, right? So we can go ahead and say at event handler, public void vote event, votifier event event, import that. I probably spelled it wrong. I didn't. And what we can do first is to check to see if this works. If we can go bucket dot get server dot oops dot broad cast message chat color dot gold plus someone has voted. And we can go ahead and import all that. Also, make sure after you download, you go to properties here, go to Java build path, and just go ahead and add external jars there and add your Votifier there. Now, unfortunately, Votifier cannot be used with private servers. So if you're hosting this on localhost, uh, you won't actually be able to um, test this because you need it to be on a regular, a regular hosted server. That's how Votifier works here. Um, so if we actually just go ahead and do reload, make sure you have Votifier implemented on your server. Um, also, one last thing you can do, um, I don't do it because I just don't, um, add this into your plugin at YML if you want your plugin to shut down um, safely if this plugin is not found, um, but I, I don't worry about that. Um, then we're going to go over here on uh, minecraft-servers.list.net and we can test our server here. Um, make sure you change your config here. Uh, you gotta set a port that's not being used. If you're being hosted, try to. Um, this took me a while to actually find this port, um, but email your host and find a port that is not being used because it's going to be necessary. And we go ahead and test vote and fail. There was an exception. All right, so you might have to go up and check with your your hoster here. I could just be having a problem with my hoster, um, so I won't be able to show you that it works. Um, Basically, what you can do here is if we go vote, vote equals event dot get vote, we can get everything that comes with the player voting, right? So we can go ahead and do v dot get address string s equals, we'll just do this, we can actually set up variables. Um, we can go ahead and do player p equals bucket dot get player and then v dot get, oops get username that's gonna get the username that they submit um, so you're probably gonna want to run a couple checks to make sure that player is actually on the server um, and so you're not just giving players random rewards and the last one you might want is the service name uh, which is just going to be another string and pretty much from here you can this is pretty much all you're probably gonna want to need um, because then you can do player and then you can get all the player things here all the player uh, variables and methods so that's all I got for you guys. Like I said, kind of super simple. I wish that I could get this to work for you guys. Um, it's probably just my uh, my hoster here that I'm having a problem with. Uh, but once again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And lastly, make sure to go follow me on Twitter at the underscore, underscore, the, the underscore source underscore code. And thank you guys so much for watching.